are back here on Girl Talk, and we're so glad you're back. Although it really doesn't interfere with our conversation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Don't bother us. Back. Exactly, because you were talking about walking, walking, and you didn't wear heels. I was proud of you. You I wore tennis shoes. <laughs> And you said your feet still hurt. And they still hurt. That's yes. how I know I'm getting good exercise. Absolutely. Well, and we're miserable. walking on that concrete in the city. Yeah, it's hard. Uh, it's not know. so giveable. No, yeah. it isn't. Exactly. When we left, we were talking about the hospital, and one of the things that you all pride yourself on is that you model what you preach. Absolutely. You practice health and wellness. And when we took a break, Martha was like, oh, I really want to talk about the things we do for the employees here, because it's a big deal. So it's I'd love to hear. Deal. We would love to hear. The, the first thing we started with is making it a tobacco-free campus. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That does not mean you go sit in your car in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, it means literally the whole campus of the hospital is considered tobacco-free. So if you make your environment healthy, then, then it catches on. I mean, you, 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 you end up being healthy. Mm -hmm. The other thing we have in place are um, the gym that I have for the cardiac rehab turns into the employee gym after mm -hmm. the patients leave. Nice. Oh, how cool is that? And that's one of my favorite things that I've accomplished. Uh, so after hours for the for the patients, okay. it's open to the to the, all the employees. All the employees. They have to get cleared, mm -hmm. and um, they use it all weekend. Awesome. And in the middle of the night, the doctors take advantage of it. Oh, We're see, that's very, cool. very yeah. proud of that. And what kinds of things are in your gym? Well, we have ellipticals, treadmills, a variety of bikes. Mm -hmm. And we have the weight machines as well and free weights. Uh, actually, we have employees meeting on certain days, and they run their own little boot camp. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Right. It's so fun. I yeah, it's about great. That. That's right. Yeah. You got a pool? We have a pool you for do. the community oh, yeah. as, well it's as, cool. as well as the employees. And then our cafeteria does a good job. You've got to hear this. We have recently remodeled the cafeteria, and they've turned our um, salad bar into a really nice salad bar mm -hmm. that has several choices of lean protein. Mm -hmm. There you go. For vegetarians as oh, well. So nice. I was incredibly I love a good proud salad of that. Bar, don't you? And well, a beautiful color of salads. It's really, really nice. It's mm -hmm. really interesting when you go to the cafeteria because the way that you've done it is you don't deprive. They don't mm. deprive people. No. If you want something, it's usually there. But what you do, I think, is kind of like yours. Yes, mm -hmm. options. And you put the good, healthy things first. Mm -hmm. That's right. That Even in the I vending noticed. machines. Yes. The healthy things are eye level. Oh, I like that. That's How about, so smart. Isn't yeah. that cool? When you really yes. think about mm -hmm. it. It is. And I think it's that subliminal th stuff that you don't it really is. recognize. Mm -hmm. Well, it's human oh, nature. Oh, oh, oh wait, Caroline. We, we sort of gravitate to what's in front of us. Yes. You know. And what the crowd does. Absolutely. And what the crowd does. Did you hear what she said? What did she say? Good, Good marketing. It's Good just, marketing. <laughs> it's a marketing it technique. It's what it I do at school. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it really is. Yeah. And I think it's just practicing good behavior. It really mm -hmm. is. Your menus for patients are really healthy, too. Yes, I don't see that much because mm -hmm. I'm in the outpatient setting, but I know they have quite a few choices. And even the vegetables they prepare now, uh, they're, they're flavored with herbs and spices mm. instead of oil and salt and pepper. And so things, smart. just small, those small little things like mm -hmm. that. One of the things that's been fun is you can tell I spent a lot of time here, obviously. Yeah. It's, I, really I might stay and hang out. No, <laughs> you really should. The, the most fun thing is instead of taking the elevator up and down. Stairs. If you go on the stairs, it is priceless. Because you see the docs like, you see the nurses, <laughs> Getting right? in their Everybody is up and down on the steps. Yes. And there's a lot of incentive for your employees to do that. Yeah. Well, it's... Um, we, we have a, uh, we're connected with the South Carolina Hospital Association. They have a program mm -hmm. and we are a part of that and we get rewarded for having um, healthy employees. Having the, mm -hmm. the employees You've in got a, a healthy environment. Walking trail. The campus is really, really wonderful and it's a very um, inviting place. I love it here, right? It's it a is. Well, the first thing I noticed was just all the, the light, and it was just mm -hmm. so clean and bright. Good. And it just was really welcoming. Mm -hmm. They're constantly maintaining this building. Yeah. How early is heart disease detected, or when should someone actually go in for their first screening? It's actually been shown that as early as five or six years old, the plaque can start to build up. So oh, it's wow. never too early. It's never too early to get screenings. You don't feel high blood pressure. You don't feel high cholesterol. That has to be tested. And um, I, I think even children need to, um, to be exposed to what it is they need to work on. Healthy living. Correct. 
And on that note, we're going to take a break, and we're actually going to go on a field trip. We're going to go to Bertie James, so stay with us. We'll be back here on Girl Talk.